we don't act together, then we're nothing. If we don't stick together, we're nothing. And if we can't even trust each other, then we're nothing. Hey, Steve Family Care, this is Courtney. Hi, Courtney. My name is Michael, and I was just calling because um, I'm running low on my medication, and it says I don't have any refills. Would I have to come have in? You... Go ahead. All right. I, I was going to say, would I have to come in for that to get a refill? Okay. Let me pull everything up here. Okay. What's your birthday? Which medication was it that you were needing a refill on? The hydrocodone. The hydrocodone, okay. And did you say you were told you needed to come in for an office visit to get that refill? Um, yeah, it just says no refills on the bottle, and that's usually what okay. I would do before. Okay, let me see, when was the last time? Was that Dr. Fry, right? Correct. And... The 20th of last month. last month. Let me look at his office now. We might just be able to put in any controlled medication. You have to call in every month for the refill. So let me see when he wanted to see it back. Okay. It doesn't say if and when. Are you okay if I just send a message and see if he'd be willing to just do that refill? That'd be fine. Okay. Let me put in a message here. Okay. And that was the hydrocodone, right? Correct. What pharmacy? The VA. VA, okay. In Grand Island. Okay. Yep, I see that. Perfect. Okay. And this best phone number to reach you? Okay, perfect. Um, um, and then when are you due for that refill? Are you out? No. Um, it usually takes about 7 to 10 days to get it. And I'm okay. right there, so I have about nine left. Okay. And you said it usually takes about seven to ten days from your pharmacy to get that? Correct. Okay, I'll go ahead and send that message. Um, and if there's any issues or they need to set up an office visit, we'll have a nurse give you a call back. Okay? okay. That sounds great. Thank All you. All right. Thanks, Michael. Mm -hmm. Yep, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Hello? Is this Michael? Yes. Hi, this is Amy, nurse at Hastings Family Care. Hey, I just saw you had requested a refill for hydrocodone. Yes. Um, are you still just kind of taking it a tab at night, or um, how often are you ne needing it? Well, I've been doing it about twice a day. Um, I was do doing some physical therapy, and I don't know if I pulled a muscle or something between my shoulder blades. But it's been pretty painful. Okay. And then my lower back has also been acting up. I have to use a cane. Otherwise, it's very um, painful. Okay. So. Okay. Well, I can see if um, Dr. Fry's out all week. Um, so I can see if one of our other providers would send in a short supply. Mm -hmm. um, it was last picked up on... It looks like the 21st of September. Um, and I, as far as I know, Dr. Fry was thinking you just were kind of taking, you know, one. And, and But I understand how how sometimes it's, it is prescribed as every eight hours, it looks like. So yes. um, let me see what I can do. We'll see if we can get it sent in, okay? Okay, thank you very much. You bet. Bye. Bye. Hey, family care. This is Lindsay. Hi, Lindsay. This is, and I'm calling today to see if uh, my prescription was refilled. If that was. Yeah. Let me take a look here. Michael, what's your birthday? I don't see that it has been sent. Let me send this over to them and have them send it for you. Where do you want this to go? Um, to go to the VA? The VA hospital, correct. Okay. Let me have them look at this and send it off. Cause it looks like we were Dr. Fry was gone all week last week, but Dr. Johnson was supposed to do it, and it didn't get done. So let, Dr. Fry is here, so let's have him do it instead. Okay. Sound good? Um, I'm, I'm completely out, and my lower okay. back is so bad, I'm almost tempted to use my wheelchair again. 
Okay, um, let me send this off to them and have them send it in for you. Okay, would it be okay to use my wheelchair with my neck surgery? It's been over a month. Um, I don't see why it should be a problem. Let me, uh, let me just ask Melissa really quick. That way I don't give you false information, okay? Thank you. Yep. Michael, are you still there? Yes. So she said that should be fine, um, unless the, um, your surgeon told you otherwise, you should be fine to use your wheelchair. Um, she's going to send your meds in to Dr. Fry and have him send them in for you since he's the only one that can send them in or a provider, but I don't know why Dr. Johnson did do it, whatever, that's in the past. So um, we'll have Dr. Um, Fry send your meds in, and then if you want to just use your wheelchair for now until you get your meds picked up, that's fine. Okay, thank you very much. Yep, you're welcome. Have a good day. You too. Mm, bye. Bye. Hello. Hi, Michael. This is Kathy calling back from Hastings Orthopedic with Dr. Walmeyer. Yes. So, doctor got back to me. He said um, should <clears throat> should be good for the patient to go ahead and participate with PT. And if he needs to use his wheelchair, he said that should be okay. Um, but he should try to mobilize as able. So he doesn't want you to. Um, just become dependent on the wheelchair, but you can go ahead since you're going to have a difficulty right now. Um, and he said, I definitely agree with the medication, including trying that Robaxa now. Yes. Um, so did you go ahead and take one of those? I sure did. Okay. Um, can you give us a call back here, like maybe one o'clock and let us know how you're doing? Okay. We'll do. And let's make sure that that's working. And then, um, Therapy can, I don't know if they've done it for you or not, but they could do some ultrasound. They have some different things they could do maybe to help um, that area down there maybe loosen up for you. Um, so <clears throat> maybe they can, in addition to the medication, give you some relief this afternoon. So, But okay. give us a call back before you go to, them, uh, say, around 1, one thirty. okay? Sounds good. Okay. All right. Thanks, Michael. Thank Bye -bye. you. Bye -bye. You're welcome. Bye. Sorry. Hastings Ortho Nurse Line is not available. Record your message at the tone. When you are finished, hang up or press pound for more options. Hello, this is Michael. I took those medications, uh, the methocarbinol, and I'm still hurting pretty bad, so um, I don't know what you want me to do. Please call me back. Thank you. Bye. Orthopedic. This is Kathy. Can I help you? Hi, Kathy. My name is Michael Herrig, and I woke up this morning in a lot of pain, and I just had neck surgery August 17th on my neck. I was just wondering if it would be okay to use my wheelchair. Um, what, what is your phone number, Michael? Okay. And you had surgery with, um, with uh, a Dr. Bell then, is that, that correct? That's correct. Okay, and, and then ha has Dr. Walmeyer seen you since then? Yes. Um, okay. A couple of weeks ago. All right, so you have the C2 through C6 by Dr. Bell on 817. All right. And have you been having these kind of problems, or is this something new? Uh, it started yesterday, but I was okay. able to kind of stretch it out and stuff but i've been doing yoga all morning and i can't get it to go away okay so i was just reading your note here so that's why the pause um okay. just looking when you were in it looked like you were having like three out of ten pain that was back on september 22nd yes um still wearing the seat the collar yes or did he discontinue that still got the collar on PT, another. you were using a cane at that time, okay. All right. And are you going to uh, physical therapy? Yes. Okay, do you have an appointment by chance today? Yes. Okay, what time is that appointment at? Three, three o'clock. PT is three today, okay. So pain is in right in the neck area? No, it's um my left hip, low back. Left hip, low back pain. Yeah, I have to walk at like an angle. I can't stand up straight. Okay, I started 
yesterday, increasing today, you said. Yes. What are you rating now on a scale from 0 to 10? A 9. Okay. Um, are you on any type of a muscle relaxer? Um, Methocarbonal, something like that. Roboxin, or the, uh, the methocarbol is the generic name, so okay. you have been taking that as directed? Um, actually, I haven't been taking it much at all, but... Okay. Um, so I would definitely, you got some of them left? Yes. I would probably try that, because um, if, you're, if you're not walking straight and you're having that much pain down in that lower area, it's probably due to a muscle spasm that's tightening up okay. on you. Um and causing some problems. You said that sometimes you're able to get it stretched out with yoga, but today it's just not helping. Correct. Okay, so if you have that Robaxin still on hand, um, get started on that, and then are you taking the hydrocodone as well? I'm out of it. Um, okay. Dr. Fry was out of the office last week, and Dr. Johnson was supposed to put it in, but he never did. So now I okay. have to wait probably another five to ten days before I can get some more. Okay. Um, have you tried to call them? Yes, I just so called them I'm, right before you. Okay. And they said they, no, that you have they, to wait another five days? Well, they said that they were going to put the prescription in today, but I get it through the VA, which takes about five, oh, days, five to ten yeah. days. Okay. That's, that's kind right. of why I called in last week, is yeah. to hopefully get it before I ran okay. out. Okay. All right, so you left a message for that. So um, definitely part of that, probably get started on the Robaxin um, or that methylcarbol um, oh, okay. to help with that, yep, to help with that muscle spasm. Um, but you're rating a 9 out of 10, left hip, lower back, you said. Any um, numbness, tingling? Not from that, no. Okay, all right. And your your biggest question was you want to know if you can use a wheelchair? Correct. Is there, um, did they, have they been working on trying to get you out of a wheelchair or anything like that or what? I've been, um, I've been out of the wheelchair since the surgery. Okay. But I have a 25 pound weight limit and uh -huh. I'm not supposed to raise my arms above 90 degrees. Gotcha. So that's okay. why I was wondering if it would be a bad idea to use the wheelchair. Um. That I will have to run by Dr. Walmeyer um, with your restrictions. I'm not sure if that will be something he will let you. You're having a hard time ambulating. Is that the deal? Mm -hmm. Having a hard time walking around. That's why you want to go back in the wheelchair, yeah. just so that pain? Exactly. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, let me get a message out to Dr. Walmeyer. He's actually here in clinic today, so I will... Uh, He'll get back to me pretty quickly, and then I will get you called back and, and let you know what his uh, what his thoughts are, okay? Okay, thank you very much. All right, Michael, you're welcome. Bye-bye. Uh, Bye-bye. Hey, things Orthopedics, this is Sarah. Hi, Sarah. I'm calling in to re uh, reply to a phone message I got. Okay, it looks like you spoke with Kathy yesterday. I believe so. Okay. Um, and it sounded like um, they sent in a Medrol dose pack for you to try. Um, did you get that message? Yes, I got the phone message. Okay, okay. Um, and so have you picked that up from the pharmacy yet? Um, no, I usually get things mailed from the VA pharmacy. Okay. Um, yeah, it looks like yep, it looks like it was it was sent to the the VA pharmacy. So you said they'll they'll mail, mail that to you. Yes, usually. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Alrighty. Um. Yeah. Was there anything else um, you were calling back in regards then to? Um, the metho methocarbamol. Mm -hmm. Every, yeah, she said th every three hours. Yes, 
So Dr. Wallmeyer said that um, you can take that dose of Robaxin up to every three hours as needed to see if that helps. Um, and then he said, additionally, we can have you try that Medrel dose pack. Um, it's just a oral um, short course of steroids um, for about six days that um, you kind of follow the instructions on the medication, and then you kind of um, slowly, you know, um, take it less and less. And, um, okay. and sometimes, you know, that kind of helps calm down inflammation um, and, you know, and helps to help, you know, some of those symptoms you're experiencing. Okay. All right. Um, are you needing any more of the Robaxin? Um, or do you have enough of that? I probably, well, I probably have at least a week left. Okay. Okay. Um, when you're getting close to, to running out, um, I would just contact uh, your pharmacy, and then usually they'll send us an electronic uh, request uh, to get that refilled for you. Okay. Yeah, I know. All right. I, I, there's no refills on it right now. Yeah, yep. So um, when you're getting kind of closer to, to running out, um, you want to send us a message uh, and we can, or excuse me, if you want to contact your pharmacy, and then they usually send us a, a refill request um, electronically or through the fax, okay. either way. Okay. Um, but, yep, that medical dose pack should have been sent. Um, so you said that that should come to the mail to you? Yes, usually. Yep. Okay. All right, sounds good. We'll give give those recommendations of Dr. Walmeyer's a try, and with the with the Robaxin and the Medrol dose pack, and um, you just keep us up to date. Okay, and then is, right. is there any way I can start reaching above my head? Because everything was like at ninety degrees straight out uh, with my arms. Like reaching like directly above. Correct. Yes. Okay. So, like, having your shoulders kind of parallel to your body, is that what you're talking? Um, I, like, if my arms are straight down to my side, they said I can go 90 degrees to straight out. So, like, a Correct. T, yeah, yeah. Can I go yep. above that? Above that. Um, I would think that should be, um, should be fine. Um, just kind of, you know, letting, letting pain be your guide. Um, let's see, how, let's see, you're about... Two months. A month out from surgery? I had it in August, August 17th. August, okay. Yeah. So it's been two months today. Okay. So about eight weeks. Um, I would think that should be fine. I mean, I can double check with, with Dr. Walmeyer. So you're wanting to know if you're okay to go past, past 90 degrees. That's correct. Okay. Yeah, I, I mean, I think that should be okay, just, you know, per, per your comfort level, but um, I can double check with him, and I'll let you know if I would hear any different from, from him, okay? Okay, thank you very much. All right, you're welcome. Take care. You too. Mm -hmm. Bye. Bye. Good morning, this is Tasting Family Care. How can I help you? Hi, and I was checking to see if Dr. Fry had put in for my um, hydrocodone. Okay, and what is your date of birth, please, Michael? Okay, so we did receive that um, refill request. Um, let me see here, I'm just trying to catch up on the messages here, okay? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah, it was Dr. Johnson was supposed to put it in, but he forgot, and so Dr. Fry was supposed to put it in. <clears throat> okay, so Dr. Fry. Um, question here. Let me see here. It says, since this is um, post-operation, um, should be going through his surgeon for post-operation pain meds. Um, so it looks like Dr. Bell was the provider who previously prescribed the hydrocodone um, after your surgery. Um, but it looks like, okay, so Dr. Fry made a note on September 20th, um, reviewed hospital and neurosurgery records, labs, and imaging. We will have the patient follow up with Dr. Wall Meyer. And then um, we were just going to do a small amount of the hydrocodone for nighttime use for you to get through as you wean down and off of the hydrocodone. 
so there's no refills for it, okay? It looks like you saw Dr. Wallmeyer um, on 9-22, and you're supposed to follow up in six weeks on uh, November 14th, okay? So um, it looks like, too, um, through your ortho uh, appointment, you were instructed to try Rebaxin, and if there was no significant relief from that, then they would follow up with you sooner. So unfortunately, the uh, prescription was denied, okay? Okay, so I got to call Dr. Walmeyer to get it? Right, yep. You're supposed to follow up with him in six weeks, so, um, on, and you have an appointment on November 14th. So, yeah, because um, eventually they're not going to give you any more script for that because um, because you have to wean off of it, okay? All right. This is for my lower back? Right. Okay. Yep, yep, that is correct. Yep, so um, the nurse just followed up and read through notes and such. So, unfortunately, we're, una we're unable to refill that for you, okay? So, you might want to call Dr. Walmeyer's office or, um, and then through ortho, I mean, are, are you, did you start the Robaxin? I've had the Robaxin since the surgery. Okay, okay, yep. So, and if you're not getting any relief, then you need to follow up with uh, orthos um, sooner, okay? So you do have this, um, two different routes that you can go here, okay? Okay. All right, I'm so sorry, Michael. I wish we were able to help you with that. Yeah, I wish you guys would have told me that before. So I wasn't sitting I'm sorry, here waiting yeah. for two weeks. I'm sorry, okay. Well, you have a good day. Yep, you too. Bye. Bye-bye. Hey, Steens Orthopedics, this is Leslie. Hi, Leslie. And I'm calling today because I've ran out of pain medications. And I called Dr. Fry at uh, Hastings Family Care. And he said that I was supposed to talk to Dr. Walmeyer about it. That he doesn't prescribe it for me. Dr. Walmeyer will. Okay. Uh, did Dr. Walmeyer fill a prescription for you already? No, it was Dr. Fry that prescribed it for me. And now I'm out, and he says that he no longer prescribes it. It'll have to be Dr. Walmeyer. All right. Let me have you talk with one of the nurses. Just a moment. Thank you. Hey, Steve's Orthopedics. This is Brittany. Hi, Brittany. Um, I'm calling to see if I can get a few more um, pain medic, uh, some more pain medication. Okay. Um, Call I one. medication are you looking to get refilled? The hydrocodone. Okay. And what are you taking that for? For, well, I had neck surgery August oh, 17th, okay. but then okay. my lower back has been just killing me. It, I've been in a wheelchair the last five days. You can't walk at all? No, it's very, very painful. I have to lean kind of forward and to the right. Okay. Just to get any kind of relief, so I'm walking kind of cockeyed. Okay. Let me just see your meds here. Okay. So it looks like Dr. Fry is the one who's been doing your medication. Is that correct? Um, he did it last time, but I just called them right before I called you, mm -hmm. and he said that he no longer does it. It would have to be Dr. Walmeyer. Oh, okay. So. I will send it to Dr. Walmeyer, see if he's okay with refilling it. Okay. Um, if for some reason he doesn't, we'll give you a call back. Okay. Um, is it the Grand Island VA Pharmacy? Correct. Okay, perfect. I will get this sent to him right now, okay? Okay, thank you very much. All right, thanks, Michael. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm, Bye.